Sports-related musculoskeletal injuries represent a significant concern in athletic populations, ranging from mild sprains to severe fractures and dislocations. As healthcare professionals, it is crucial to understand the mechanisms of injury, risk factors, and management strategies to provide optimal care for athletes. Epidemiology and Risk Factors The prevalence of sports-related musculoskeletal injuries is substantial, with an estimated 8.6 million cases occurring annually in the United States. Sprains, strains, contusions, and overuse injuries are the most frequent types encountered. Several risk factors contribute to these injuries, including previous injury history, inadequate warm-up or cool-down routines, improper technique or training, lack of flexibility or strength, and environmental factors such as playing surface and weather conditions. Research conducted at Stanford University revealed that 77% of injuries in college athletes affected the lower extremities, specifically the knee, lower leg, ankle, or foot. Fatigue has been identified as a significant contributing factor to sports injuries, as it can lead to decline technique, slower reaction time, and decreased muscle joint stability. Common sports-related injuries. Ankle sprains. Ankle sprains frequently occur during activities involving sudden directional changes or landings from jumps. They represent one of the most common sports-related injuries across various athletic disciplines. Knee injuries. Knee injuries, including anterior cruciate ligament, ACL tears, medial collateral ligament, MCL sprains, and patellofemoral pain syndrome, are prevalent in sports that involve sudden stops, directional changes, or landing from jumps. Shoulder injuries. Shoulder injuries, such as rotator cuff tendinitis, instability, and impingement, are commonly observed in overhead sports like baseball, tennis, and swimming. Overuse injuries. Overuse injuries, including stress fractures, tendinitis, and apophysitis, result from repetitive microtrauma to the musculoskeletal system. These are often seen in sports involving repetitive motions or high training volumes. It is worth noting that in the United States, American football has the highest injury rate among sports, with over 12 times the number of injuries compared to the second most common sport. Diagnosis and Management The diagnosis of sports-related musculoskeletal injuries typically involves a comprehensive approach. 1. Detailed history taking. 2. Physical examination. 3. Imaging studies, when necessary. The Subjective Objective Assessment Plan, SOAP note format, is a useful tool for guiding examination and treatment planning. The REST, ICE, Compression, Elevation, RICE protocol is often the initial management approach for acute injuries, followed by a gradual return to activity. In severe cases, such as complete ligament tears or displaced fractures, surgical intervention may be necessary. Rehabilitation plays a vital role in managing sports-related injuries, focusing on restoring range of motion, strength, and function. Prevention Strategies Prevention is a critical aspect of sports injury management. Key strategies include 1. Proper warm-up and cool-down routines with dynamic stretching and light aerobic activity. 2. Strength training to enhance muscle strength and decrease the risk of overuse injuries. 3. Flexibility training to maintain and improve joint range of motion. 4. Using proper technique and sport-specific training. 5. Utilizing appropriate protective equipment. Prevention strategies also include proper hydration, nutrition, and technique improvement. Pre-participation examinations are crucial for identifying pre-existing conditions or previous injuries that could lead to further health issues. The functional movement screen is a valuable tool that can be incorporated into pre-season screenings to evaluate movement patterns and identify athletes at higher risk for specific injuries. It is important to note that injury prevention methods may need to be tailored differently for adolescent athletes compared to adult athletes. The Functional Movement Screen, FMS, is a widely used seven-test battery used by practitioners working in sport medicine. 
Athletes were assessed using the full FMS protocol, comprised by seven movement patterns. One, deep squat. Two, hurdle step. Three, inline lunge. Four, shoulder mobility. Five, active straight leg raise. Six, trunk stability push up. And seven, rotary stability. Mental health considerations. Recent studies have revealed a correlation between sports injuries and mental health. Athletes who sustain injuries may experience increased levels of anxiety, stress, and depression. The severity and type of injury can influence the extent of these psychological effects. As healthcare providers, it is essential to consider and address the potential mental health implications of sports-related injuries in addition to their physical manifestations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.